Okay, so here is cryptococcal meningitis. Alright, so what is this patient going to present as? They are going to have headache and a fever, correct? And on their CT, they will have no evidence of toxin. When all these three criteria are satisfied, we could um, do the next investigation test. And what is it? What is it going to be your next step after these clinical findings? This is a very common question. In order to confirm strypto, uh, cryptococcus, you will do. You will need to find crypt antigen. Cryptococcus antigen, which will be positive in both your CSF as well as in the blood. Correct. So, which means that we will do a CSF study and what will the CSF show? In the CSF we will have okay so here are the CSF findings that you will find an increased amount of protein you will have a normal or a low glucose level you will have increased amount of lymphocytes and you will also when you stain this with a India ink you will find encapsulated yeast because what is cryptococcus? It is a yeast. So you will find this on the India ink. Now, how do you treat this? The treatment is going to be amphotericin B plus flu cytosine. Okay, and when a patient has cryptococcus after it being confirmed, you have to put them on a lifelong prophylaxis with fluconazole unless their CD4 count is greater than 200 for more than 6 months. So if their CD4 is less than 200, we need to put them on a lifelong prophylaxis of fluconazole along with their retroviral therapy but if their retroviral therapy ends up increasing num this number to greater than 200 then you can stop the fluconazole but as soon as it goes down below 200 again you restart the fluconazole okay